Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I have four Dollar Tree Neutral Farmhouse Valentine's Day decor pieces for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So for the first project, we're going to do this gorgeous piece. I love it so much. So anyway, I take six six by eight canvases from Dollar Tree. I take them out of their package and then I take my staple pull and I pull all the staples out to get that canvas off of it. Now if you don't have a staple pull you can just cut the back and then pull the canvas off but I like to have a clean slate to work with. I then take my finger sander, which is linked in my Amazon store in the description box, and I sand down all the rough edges. You guys, I have to admit, Dollar Tree really got cheap with these. The frames are just held on by like a staple and a nail. The pieces are like uneven and they're so rough. So I did sand them down as best as I could, but they were still a little bit rough. And I guess for a dollar, you can't really complain. So anyway, once I had that all finished, then I take my wood glue and I glue all the pieces together. Once those were dry, then I go in with some uh, chicken wire that I got from Dollar Tree. Yes, you heard me right. I got chicken wire from Dollar Tree. I found it in the floral section back where like where all the candles are and stuff down at the bottom um, shelf and it, it, they were in a box but now I can't find it anymore but in a minute you're going to see I'm going to show you that it is the Dollar Tree brand and I did piece this together just because it's not wide enough. So I covered the first three. I stapled them in with my electric stapler. I cut them down with some wire cutters. And then I did the same exact thing for the second side. My electric stapler is also down in my Amazon store. I put my stuff in a storefront for you guys. Just so that way they're in categories and you can see the pictures of what you're looking for. Then I just take my Kona stain and I got this stain at Walmart and it has polyurethane in it. So it's kind of like a one step, um, you know, application. So I just took a sponge brush and I stained all the frames. I know you're probably thinking, Melissa, you probably should have did this before you put it all together, which is exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> but I don't know why sometimes I work backwards. I mean, it just is what it is. But anyway, I stain all the frames, um, just the pieces that you could see. I wasn't worried about the back. So the sides, the front, and the inside of the front. Next, I took six large popsicle sticks. Yes, I know somebody told me they're tongue depressors, but I call them popsicle sticks, so <laughs> you can call them whatever you like, but that's what I call them. So I take six large popsicle sticks, I cut the ends off, and then I just hold the rest of them up to the first one that I cut so that way they can all be even and these are going to make X's for X's and O's. For the O's I use these little heart um, grapevine I forget what they're called you guys but I got them from Dollar Tree I love them so much I want to use them in like all my projects but um, originally I was just going to do all of the grapevine hearts and then as I work, I get ideas. So then I came up with this X and O idea. So after I cut down the popsicle sticks, then I glue them together in an X and then I glue the rest of them on top of the first one, um, obviously separately, but that way they can be completely even and all look cohesive. Once I had those glued together, then I give them all a good coat of the white Waverly chalk paint. 
Once I had my X's all painted, then I take my favorite chip brush, surprise, surprise, and I dry brush all the way around these little hearts just to give them some dimension and make them pop off of the piece. I also dry brush all the way around these frames, um, the sides. I just, the way that I do this, I kind of accent all of the edges and then I'll go in in the middle and I'll dry brush in the middle and the sides as well. Next, I take my Waverly Antique Wax and I do the same exact thing with my chip brush and these X's, again, just to give them dimension and make them pop off the of the piece. Now, this is one of the new chip brushes that I got. For the longest time, I could not find a chip brush that did the exact same effect that my little chip brushes have done that I've used forever. And I found these on Amazon when I was putting my storefront together for you guys. And so I figured that I would try them. And you guys, I am pleasantly surprised. They literally do almost the exact same. They're not quite as amazing. But for the price and getting them off Amazon, I am definitely happy with them because they come really fast. Now, the original ones that I use... Um, they're really cheap, but you have to wait for them because you have to get them right from platonline.com. So this is just a quicker alternative to um, the ones that I normally use. But anyway, I um, just glue down these X's and O's and then I flip it around and I just reinforce it because of this chicken wire it's kind of hard to glue them down because the glue just kind of seeps through so that's why I put my silicone mat down and I wanted to show you how well these clean up I love these silicone mats and all you have to do is just take like a Lysol wipe or a wet paper towel and clean them up so look how gorgeous this is you guys I'm so happy with the way it turned out and let me know in the comments down below per usual which project is your favorite okay guys so in today's video it is in collaboration with Camaro from dying to DIY Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Savannah and Shana from Robinson Repurposing. I will leave all their information in the description box. I know you guys will love them. They have become like my best friends and I love their projects all the time. So definitely go check them out. We're also doing a choice of a $25 cash or gift card giveaway on each of our channels. So you have four chances to win and we will announce that on our community tab on Friday January 29th so definitely look out for that all you have to do is leave a comment in each one of our comment section to be entered to win and we will be checking so if you want to be entered to win just leave a like and a comment on each of our videos so let's move on to the you and me banner I take a book that I got from Dollar Tree I know that ripping out pages from a book is controversial, but I actually have the same exact copy. But anyway, I just take some pages out of a book and then I mark every one inch and take my paper cutter and I cut a bunch of strips out. I don't know exactly how many pages, but I think I did about 10 pages. Once I had all my pieces cut down, then I put together nine pieces because you're going to need four on one side and four on another and then I take the bottom of each stack and I glue them all together. So 
So once I had all the pieces glued at the bottom, now you can use a stapler, but my daughter was sleeping and the stapler was in my bedroom. So I just went with the glue stick, but um, I take the pieces on each side because you're gonna want one piece in the middle. That's why you're doing an uneven number. And so you have the piece in the middle, you start with the inside piece, glue the top of the back of the first piece and then you just flip it onto the inside. If that makes no sense, you can see what I'm doing here. But then you just continue to do that for each piece until you're at the end and you have your last piece. I also forgot to mention that for each piece, you're going to go farther and farther up that middle piece so that way you can see each layer in the heart. Once you have both sides done, then you just take and cut that middle piece down to wherever you like it. So if you want it to hang more off of your banner, then you're going to have a longer piece. Or if you want it to hang shorter, then you want to have a shorter piece. I then take my drill and a drill bit. I believe it was uh, 532, but... Don't quote me, I don't know all those sizes, but I just put two holes in the top of this heart that I got from Dollar Tree. I also have two of the heart ornaments from Dollar Tree. I paint the bigger heart with my white Waverly chalk paint, and then I paint the smaller two hearts with my acrylic Waverly, I believe it's called bubblegum. Once those dry, then I go in with my chip brush and for the pink hearts, I use some white Waverly chalk paint to dry brush the edges, as well as some black. And then for the bigger heart, I dry brush the edges with that same pink as well as black. Again, just to give it some dimension and make it look more finished and weathered. also dry brush in the middle of all the hearts so for the pink one again I did pink and black and then for the smaller ones I did white and black next I take my chalk couture transfer now this is from my monthly club couture subscription so um, this won't be in next month's if you decide to sign up for Club Couture. Club Couture is you get a you get an exclusive chalk transfer as well as three pay singles in the mail each month. And um, when you're also a designer, which is what I am, then you also get that Club Couture. You just don't get the pay singles because most designers have a lot of the colors that. Um, these come with if you're club couture so anyway I just cut this apart and then I transfer it on I put you and me on the small ones and then I do the and on the bigger one now I just wanted to show you how amazing this is you guys um, you literally just put down the transfer you chalk on top of it with a squeegee pull it up and then you have these gorgeous images and anybody can do it rather you are a beginner crafter or you are a professional it just depends but it's for everybody so anyway once I had those uh, chalked on then I just take my utility knife and I cut out holes at the top of these paper hearts. If you have a hole punch, just use a hole punch. I couldn't find mine, so I just went ahead and I cut holes out. And then I use some jute to tie little hangers at the top of these. I knew that they wouldn't hang right if I didn't put um, like a loop of jute on it before. 
So once I had all my hearts with the little loop on there, then I take a longer piece of jute and I string all these through. So I love to show you guys my mistakes because I'm not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes and that is okay. You don't have to be afraid of mistakes. They're always easily fixed. Now this wasn't a big one, but I tried to string it through those hearts just without a piece of jute on the top and then I quickly figured out that they weren't going to sit right on my banner so I did just take them off I put a loop of jute on there and then I strung them back through so I alternated between the paper hearts and the wooden hearts all the way down the banner I then took some white yarn from Dollar Tree and some jute. I wrapped it around my fingers 15 times and then cut it, cut it off. I then cut a piece of white yarn. I strung that through the top of the loop, tied it. I cut the bottom of these for a tassel and then I took a piece of jute around, not all the way at the top, but probably like one fourth to the top and we're gonna make a tassel for the end of these. So once I had that tied, then I just trimmed the bottom so that they were even, and then I attached them to each end of my banner. Once I had my tassel, once I had my tassels attached, try to say that five times fast, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> once I had my tassels attached, then I tied a loop on the end for something to hang my banner and then that was it you guys I had so much fun making this banner it literally started out as just these paper hearts this is how I work sometimes my idea was just these paper hearts and then it turned into this gorgeous banner and I could not be more happy with it again let me know in the comments down below what you think if you guys are new here, my name is Melissa. I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse decor, and much more. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around by clicking the red subscribe button. I can see that a lot of you are watching, but you're not subscribing. So you might as well click that subscribe button, become part of the family, so that way you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment. Moving on to these neutral hearts. You guys, I love this project. Per usual, I can't pick a favorite, but I was really happy with the way this one turned out too. So I get these tinsel hearts from Dollar Tree and I take the tinsel off of it. I was actually pleasantly surprised that this smaller heart is actually like a thick piece of metal. So I was very surprised that it wasn't like plastic like this one is. So once I took all the tinsel off, then my scissors couldn't quite get into those side pieces that were sticking out. So I did just take my uh, metal snippers or wire cutters, <laughs> metal snippers. Good Lord, Melissa, get it together. Anyway, I take my metal cutters and uh, or wire cutters and I cut those pieces off. And then I take some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I put a bead of hot glue on the back and then I glue that per first piece down and wrap the nautical rope all the way around this larger heart.
Next, I take this white nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I just pull, I had an extra piece laying around, so I just pull these layers apart because there are three layers on there twisted together and I knew that I only needed one. So I just untwist those. It was actually kind of tricky. I thought that I could just like pull it and it would come apart, but I did have to just unravel it and then with this smaller heart, I pulled Put a bead of hot glue on the back as well and then I just did the same exact thing wrapping it around now when you take this apart these are a bunch of little strings put together so you want to make sure that you're kind of still twisting that uh, piece while you're wrapping it around because it does want to kind of unravel on you so I did just want to mention that while you're wrapping it around kind of make sure that you're keeping it together as well once I got down to the bottom I wrap it down around the part where the V is basically and then I cut it and put some hot glue down I burnt my finger in this part so you kind of will see my finger <laughs> just like up in the air because you guys it hurt so bad it burnt me right on the tip of my finger but um, then I got smart and used a finger protector and I glued that together and then just cut off the excess pieces. I then take this yarn that I got from Dollar Tree that is the exact same color as the rope that I just used and I tied it around one side and then I randomly just wrapped it around. I wanted this to look kind of messy and rustic so um, I there's no rhyme or reason to it you just wrap it around to your liking and then for the last piece you glue that down i also reinforced all that ribbon on the back side with a bead of hot glue i then take a piece of jute i string it through the top of the smaller heart i tie a knot and then i tie it around the top of the bigger heart and i just make sure that it's hanging where i like it before i tie the knot because then it's easier to adjust it before you tie the knot than after you tie the knot. To finish this project off, I took this XO ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I made a simple bow. I can link my bow tutorial in the cards in the right hand corner and then I just glue that to the top of the bigger heart. And then that was it for this project you guys. Once again, like I always say, this was so quick and easy to get such a high end rustic looking decor piece. So for our last project, I wanted to make a quick sign and show you just how quick it is to get gorgeous looking signs with Chalk Couture. So I start by taking a Dollar Tree sign, I take the tag as well as the sticker off, and then I use my knife to score two lines in it to make this look like three pieces of wood put together. I then pull out my white linen chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. I have found that this chalk paint works much better with Chalk Couture and I give it a nice coat leaving some of that background showing through so that way it looks like weathered wood and then I dry it with my blow dryer. You guys, I'm so sorry if you hear the kids. I ended up having to do a voiceover while they were awake. So if you hear them, my apologies, but I am a mom and this is my life. So I guess it is what it is. Once I painted it, I wanted to make sure you could still see those lines. So I did just go back over those lines one time with my knife. Again, like I said, that way you could see them. So once I did that, I took my chip brush and some ink Waverly chalk paint and I dry brushed all the way around the edges as well as in the middle of this sign just to finish off that weathered wood look. I then took my transfer from Chalk Couture. I can leave the link to this in the description box and I cut them apart. I love it because there's layers to them so you can design this any which way you like. You don't just have to do it um, the way that it's put together on the piece. 
and then I use my black and it's called Movulus for the better together I mix those colors squeegee it off and then pull back the transfer and that is the magic of chalk couture I then do the same thing with the bike except I only use black and then there were little hearts that came with it so I do transfer the chalks onto where the basket is as well as next to the better together with that pink color. And then literally, you guys, that was it. This sign took me probably 10 minutes from start to finish to make, and I could not be more happy with it. So again, let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. I am so pleased with the way they all turned out. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Also, don't forget to check the description box for all the other girls' channels. That way you can leave them a comment and a like in order to be entered into the giveaway, and I wish you all luck. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well. Subscribe if you haven't already, and like I always say, if nobody has told you today, you are gorgeous, you are worthy, and I love you with all my heart and soul, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I love you with all my heart and soul, and I will see you guys Monday. Bye!